Good evening everyone, so uh, this is a very quick video, uh, it is Saturday evening now, the light's starting to fade so I'm going to try and make it quick but just to warn you, this is me just talking in the van for a couple of minutes, I'll try and make it as short as I can. This is going to be about the 239601 course that I'm doing, so that's level 4 design um, and the course I'm doing is City and Guilds and I'm doing it with a company called Inphase in Liverpool, Inphase Training. They're not sponsoring me for this. They're not paying me anything for it, although I wish they would. The amount of money I've spent there on training. But whilst I've been tidying up my van, I've come across all of my books and and it kind of reminded me that I wanted to do a little video, basically, because people keep asking me, 2396, why are you doing it? What's it for? What's the point? What do you get from it? What's your qualification? Um, what Do you want to be a designer? And the answer to that is no. At this moment in time, I do not want, wish to be a designer. Um, however, if something was to happen to me, which you never know, um, either short term or more long term, I would like to have something to fall back on. Now, 2396 is a lower qualification than a HND, um, which I think when you look online to apply for jobs like that, so I'm told, um, that's what people look for is the HND. So I'm assuming it's harder, I'm assuming it's more difficult. Um, the book is the book, the calcs are the calcs. But without doing that course, I can't really comment on it. So City and Guild's website, this is what it says about the course. This qualification helps to develop your essential up-to-date knowledge and techniques needed to professionally design and install or inspect and test electrical systems. So that refers to 2391, um, which I've done. Um, the award is ideal for qualified electricians uh, looking to expand and update their knowledge. It's for people who are experienced and are working alone or with minimal supervision. Super supervision, that's the word I was looking for. Um, and then it specifically says, what careers can this lead to? And this is on the City and Guilds website. And it says, and this is quite interesting, these qualifications will help you to progress your career as an electrician. In addition, we also have a number of higher level qualifications, which to me, kind of says it's one of those courses uh, according to her, according to city and girls themselves that maybe doesn't serve a direct route into another area so for example if you do your 2391 um you can become sort of a, a tester an inspector and tester with a bit of experience and there are some people that go around and they do that they work for companies or they solely do that um it seems to me like the 2396 is more about developing your own experience being more confident in your job and your ability now this is what i understand of it this is my personal experience of it so far i haven't completed the course but it basically is split down into two parts the first part is a design course so if you've done level three um you'll know that you do a design course most of the time it's based around the swimming pool because then you get to include a lot of external factors like ip ratings etc level four is very similar different projects each year that it comes around this year for me it's a library and then the second part of it is an online uh, no not an online sorry a written exam which i believe is about three hours uh there's a lot of questions that have 20 marks and in those 20 in those 20 mark questions you have to cover uh, your calculations um, on things like sizing cpc conductors and proving that they're okay uh, proving that cable can with withstand, withstand thermal restraints um, for fault currents, uh, the time that they can withstand them, etc., to, to prove that they're okay. And taking into account other things as well, like vault drop. Um, and it also covers a lot on inspection, testing, verification, and the real world application of it. So, what do you need for it? Well, you'll need, um, you need, uh, you need a lot of patience. Um, there's a lot of mathematics in it. But you'll also need the latest copy of the regs books, the latest copy of the on-site guide, and the latest copy of Guidance Note 3. Now, this is currently the brown um, version of the 18th edition. Um, I, I would say that the course is very much, very similar to your 18th edition. Now, I want to say, if you've done your 18th edition and you've watched any of Sparky Ninja's videos on YouTube, which I cannot recommend enough, there's th that that video that video series is broken down and it's very long uh, it's very very long however by going into each chapter individually as he does and covering 
How does the book work? How can you read it? How can you access the information quickly? What kind of things are in each chapter? How do they relate to each other? How do you go from one part of the book to the other to back to find out, to, to justify and understand your positions? 2396 is is basically that. It's going into the 18th edition. It's understanding how they relate to other um, other non-statutory and also how they relate to statutory documentation um, and regulations. And it's about basically improving your knowledge, your confidence and your ability in understanding as an electrician, when I'm doing a test, when I'm designing a, a system of works, um, how do I choose it? Where do I start? How do I go about it? How do I, how do, I do a handover manual for, for a client afterwards? Now, this might not be relevant for people who are domestic sparks and they are doing the same thing in day in day out and they're, and they're sort of doing bits and bats as my friend Adam at South Manchester Electrical would say however it doesn't stop you from doing the course because now you can justify things now you can understand it better and actually it will help you sell to your customer and um, so as well as that there is another book um, which is the IET's book and um, which I would recommend um, it really helps out um, and I suppose the, the, the biggest question people ask is, well, why are you doing it then? And for me, it comes down to me actually understanding what I'm talking about, um, being confident in decisions that I make. Um, why, why is a cable sized this way? Why do we use that size? Everyone knows, you know, you can use a six mil for this, you can use a two five ring, et cetera, et cetera, but why? And some people aren't interested in going into that depth um, for me, I find it fascinating. I find it interesting. It gives me another string to my bow. And when you look at your CV, um, it's just an extra qualification. Um, it's just something else to separate you from everybody else. Things like doing your solar course and your battery storage, uh, which I've done as well, um, they give you direct routes and they give you a direct selling from your for your business. Your 2396 doesn't give you as, a, as direct, but what it does do is it shows competence and it proves competence to anybody who will understand it. And this is why I'm saying potentially not so much for domestic installation. For anybody who will understand the difference between a level three and a level four qualification, this could be the thing that separates you from somebody else. It could be the thing that separates you from another business. It could be the thing that separates you getting that sale, but being slightly more expensive because the trust is there that you have the qualification, the competence, and you've taken your time to go and do it. So overall, that is my experience and my understanding of the level four, two, three, nine, six. And I hope that it helps you make a decision about whether you want to do it or not. I would recommend it. I've really enjoyed it so far. It's a lot of work and you go home very tired. I'm doing it as an evening course over 16 weeks. So I'm going to Liverpool every Thursday for three hours and then also button between five and 10 hours a week in the evenings at home or wherever I can squeeze it in to do in the design project. Um, and what I will do as well is I will upload another video on the design project and I will upload another video on the uh, exams online a bit further into the course myself so I can actually give it a lot more clarity um, and, and explain it because I will have actually done it then as opposed to just prepping for it which is what I'm in the early stages of doing now so I really hope this video has helped I, I'm going to stop it there because I'm already at eight minutes nearly nine minutes and I didn't really want it to be going on for this long to be fair so I'm going to cut it short there if you've got any questions please drop it into the comments I'm going to put Sparky Ninja's link into here I'm also going to put a few other lads' links into here as well. As you can tell, the lights go in. Um, please watch those videos. If you have any questions, please ask, and I'll do my very best to find out. If I don't know the answer, I will find out. I'll ask my tutor, I'll ask around, and I'll try and sort it out. But I hope this has helped some people to decide whether or not it's for you, the course for you to do. Um, yeah, thanks very much for listening. Like, subscribe. Uh, even if you comment to say, shut up, it'll still help me out. So... Nice one. Hope you all have a good evening. Good bye. Pro probably the longest and worst sign off ever, in it? But 34 seconds. So if I make it to 10 minutes, that's only 20 seconds away. What can you do in 20 seconds? I know what Jack from JRC Electrical can do in 20 seconds. I think he did it quite a lot when he was with Nick Bundy over the last few days as well. But he will never see this because he won't watch it to the end. So I don't think anyone will. Anyway. 
five seconds to go. <laughs> Longest side I've ever have a good 